Hello again. It has been a while, and the reason it's been such a long while is things were just too intense. It was just so busy, and in, uh, well, there are only 24 hours in a day, and I am a human being, which means vlogging had to go onto, a sh onto the shelf for a little bit. Well, now I'm back, and I'm going to begin with uh, a bit of footage or a bit of video from a few weeks ago. The first thing I suppose you can notice, well, no, the first thing I'll say, which means even though I said the first, da, 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 forget about all that, the first thing you notice is that the trees now, uh, what you see, they are now much greener than you see them because this was, you know, when, when spring is coming and the buds are coming out and you're just getting ready to jump with joy. So this was one of those uh, afternoons. Uh, the second thing, what is the second thing? No, there's not so much of a second thing other than there's nothing spectacular, but it did make me think. And one of the things that triggered my uh, my thought process was the noise of tourists. And what I, when I say noise, not like jeering or anything, but they were looking at the houses. And it's like, oh, look at all those wonky houses. And you get so used to the houses in Amsterdam that you don't see them. If you live here, you just stop seeing them. And you do need somebody else to help you look at them again. And so... I just started looking at these houses and, and for some reason the image that pops into my mind isn't, uh, it has nothing to do with architecture as such, but it's that each one has such a clearly defined character. They, these are the older ones, the newer ones, yeah, they're a bit more bland. But each of them, the, and I began to see things, I began to see like a jury, I don't know why, but suddenly all these buildings seemed like this massive uh, uh, bunch of uh, people who had been collected for jury duty and squashed into the, I don't know if it's pews, I mean pews are what you have in a church, I don't know what you call the seating for jury people. And they're there and in all of their various ways they are passing judgment on the houses on the other side. And so while you cannot hear it, you are just going to have to um, uh, spark your imagination and imagine uh, something like the British Houses of Parliament where you've got the canals and the houses on the canals are commenting and jeering sort of uh, and, and throwing hurling insults and accusations at one another across the um, canal and meanwhile you have boats coming by every so often and I can imagine some somebody on the boat shouting order order you know trying to calm these houses down anyway that's one of one of those things that you just cannot miss and I, and I think for Amsterdamers we just get so I think in anybody you know wherever you live you just see, you begin to see your city or the place you live in this very functional way so how do I get from A to B what is the quickest way to do this how do I avoid that but you forget to look at the beauty of the place you live in and I think that's um, yeah I believe kids still I've said it many many times but I think kids minds are still open and I believe that there should be um, in all forms of work there has to be at least once a month you've got to have a whole day of just general looking around enjoying things rediscovering the place you are even rediscovering your office you know you can imagine that people moving from floors total chaos just for one day a month just to keep you fresh and uh, alive anyway that those are my uh, 57 cents on <laughs> i don't know why i said 57 but i said it those are my 57 cents on just looking at the shape of houses thank you tourists for reminding me to see the city that i live in uh, regardless of the general view on tourists by a lot of Amsterdamers that they're too many but the fact is people you don't know can always show you something about the place uh, you think you know so um, yeah so that's that's a, a kind of welcome even though we've been doing uh, Amsterdamica for a while but that's a welcome for that little pause that I just had and um, see you in a bit Ik ben wel serieus, maar ik ben bang voor muziek daar. Blijf dat ik ben.